Welcome back to my garage. In the last video we started stripping the plating of the cylinder. One comment described a much faster way of doing it, but um, to be honest I'm kind of scared of the chemicals involved and I like to keep it rather slow and calm than uh, warm and feisty. So, but this turned out okay. There's a few spots here which I have sandblasted the surface, but there's some spots here that didn't take or didn't detach. We will have to hone the bore a little bit anyway to get a slightly larger bore and uh, and thicker plating. So these spots will disappear. So no problem there. My 3D printer is working again. I replaced the nozzle, which I haven't done since I bought it, and uh, it solved all my problems. So here's the intake tract for uh, for that uh, toilet valve, which I think I'm going to try. Can see why not. So that's uh, how it looks. Tuned for twenty thousand RPM. That's for the secondary intake, not the carb with read intake, but the uh, injected intake with no valve at all. Thank you, Joachim Rosland or Jon Steiner Hansen. Stolsen uh, mekaniske verste. This arrived today. the exhaust uh, adapter thing. They've made it on their 5-axis milling machine. Here's some footage of that uh, dream machine in action. If you're located in Norway or close to Norway and you need some machining done, even stuff that requires a 5-axis machine, Stolzen Mekanske Verste. Sweet. Thank you, Joachim Ruslan and Jon Steiner Hansen. There's some crud in my drink. Let's put this in the vise and uh, hone away those uh, sticking out bits. Take some measurements and then hone it so there's room for a thicker plating. Somewhere in the region of uh, 70 to 100 uh, microns.
quick home job, got rid of all those specs of nickel and uh, boron nitride. I think the reason the, um, the acid didn't attack the nickel is because there was high concentration of boron nitride in those spots and it kind of masked the, the nickel. I measured it with this um, not very expensive tool and it has worked fine until now. I got a measurement of about 0.17 millimeters under piston size. This means I can have a plating that's about 75 microns thick. That should be perfect. I'll plate it thicker, then hone it back to the right measurement and threw up the bore. Daniel Hudock sent me a mail talking about bore distortion from uh, my head bolts here. I must admit I'm not the most experienced in, um, in that kind of stuff, but he explained to me and I also thought that the, the short tiny bolts here couldn't do much damage. He told me that short bolts are the worst and my short bolts are located exactly where the ring needs to seal. So that might be a problem. So, Forrest Carroll, Carroll Forrest. I'm not quite sure which name is the first name and the last name there, <laughs> sorry. But anyways, he kindly offered to make me some pressure plates I can use while honing. After plating, the honing will be done with plates attached so that the bore can become true with bolts torqued to spec. Awesome. I was just going to mount the cylinder in my rotating paint dryer thing. Then realized I have no more plastic dip. I thought I had uh, one unopened can. So I've got this stuff though. It's, um, it's acrylic spray paint. So I'm trying to find out if um, the chemical resistance of uh, acrylic to see if I can use that. And it might be better because um, the plastic dip kind of teared around the ports and caused some buildup in those areas, build up of the nickel and boron nitride. Resistant to most detergents, inorganic chemicals, aliphatic hydrocarbons, fats and oils, diluted acids and concentrated alkalis at room temperature. I think that covers it. I'm, um, I'm not gonna go any higher than 30 degrees Celsius and uh, the acids used are fairly dilute. Hmm, but how diluted? Let's see if there's more info here. I'm not sure if I can get this locally. I think I have to order it. I'll make an effort tomorrow to find it. I don't, I'm not gonna trust this because I know this works and I'm gonna use some parchment paper in the bore to avoid those tearings around the ports. And uh, so I should be fine. But uh, let's not risk trying this. Let's find this tomorrow. Should I make this the whole video or continue? Okay, see you next time.